not. There's a really interesting point, though. Yes, Carl. But we're trying to avoid that. No, and, 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 Carl. And, and I love Helen Thomas. I've known her going on 50 years, uh, literally. And and that is, it's time for the press to stop whining. And uh, also, you know. Did you say that during the Bush era? I, absolutely. Absolutely. I think, you know, yeah. the getting stories is about getting out of the chair and getting out of the White House and going around and talking to sources. And this idea that, that you do news by shouting questions at the press secretary, it's a vehicle. It's not the major vehicle. It's not the most important vehicle. Real reporting is the most important vehicle. And one of the reasons that, that we have such an abbreviated news diet of real news and real stories is because we allow in the press these guys, whether it's Gibbs or his predecessor in the Bush White House, to set our agenda. It's crazy. Well, we Chuck, uh, we sorry, ought to be well, deciding. Well, 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 that is, I love these criticisms. No, 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 no. I love these criticisms. That isn't true. Carl, we do go out. You know, the fact I is, know you, do. you know, the press briefing but, is, as you said, it is a vehicle simply to get information about what's going to happen right. tomorrow. Seeing, uh, you know, a lot of times it's simply a lot of reporters need a quote to fill out because they're working on a story. You can't get anybody else there to respond, and you need something on the record. Now, Absolutely. There's plenty of reporting that you go, but I mean, but that's you know, not what, what the I don't whining like, was about. No, look, look, what I don't, what I get my backup about is this assumption that the press briefing is all the reporting that any of us do. And, you know, that isn't, as you point out, Carl, I mean, you know, the best reporting is done when you leave this, uh, yeah. when you leave this acreage, when you get on the phone, you know, you don't even do it just via email. I can tell you a lot of reporters now want to just do it via email. You're not going to get good reporting done that way. But, you know, the press briefing is nothing more, you know, I don't want to say it's a, it's a, it's a show. It's not a show. There are ways to get information out of there, but it is sort of something you do on the record that they want to get some stuff out there that you have to do. Sometimes it's as silly as getting the president's response to Michael Jackson, or sometimes it's about finding out what they are willing to talk about on the record and what, what they're not. My only point is it's really unseemly for us uh, to be putting on this act about about how we're victimized. Well, I, I want to um, let me ask Chuck Todd though, because I, I want to dig into what happened yesterday. Um, right. We hear the same thing when Ronald Reagan was in the White House in '81, '82, that Reagan and Deaver knew how to right. manipulate the press massively. Right. I remember right. saying myself in 2001, 2002, even 2001 before 9/11, I was surprised that the press wasn't asking tougher questions, and there were all these flattering. Uh, covers on news magazines of Coral Rove and I just sit there and laugh going yeah that's to buy access this is a natural part of the process isn't it and usually the White House does get it a little bit easier in the first year or two because they have their plans on how to set their agendas the press catches up to that Chuck well, I think yeah no I, I agree on that and and if if you're a good reporter you understand that's the game they're playing and, you know, you, you do your best to sometimes go around it. You do your best to try to puncture it. But, uh, again, you know, you go back, you know, the, the press, it's easy to collectively beat up on the press because you can always find an example of somebody who's doing a poor job. And what happens is it collectively ends up staining everybody. Uh, and, you know, whatever, whether it's complaints or something like that. But, actually, if you dig in, you see, well, you know, people were asking these questions or people were doing this. It's just the choice of what made it into the the biggest broadcast media or the biggest print media uh, at the end of the day that that folks get judged on or now it's you know there's a cottage industry on the left and the right to just bash the press right politicians play into it they love it why because the more you erode the credibility of the press the the easier it is to you know take a tough story that that the press may report about and, and try to and dismiss it and say well they're always wrong. Yeah, they're, you know, they're it's, not it's, work, it's like working the refs. And Mika, you right. you were complaining in uh, when you were, worked in the White House about the Bush administration, I, how you didn't think tough questions were well, being asked. I thought asked. they were very controlling, and it was uh, the press conferences were were theirs, uh, not the reporters. Having said that, Mark Halpern, the backdrop to this conversation today is a press and a new administration getting reassimilated and the relationship sort of bearing itself out. But if we can get off the press for a second and get to the two points that Helen was, was upset about, which are two things that I'd love to know. Yeah. The White House press corps is in 
primarily responsible for holding the, the administration accountable. One thing they did was coordinate with the reporter from Huffington Post about what questions would be That's asked at correct. a presidential news conference. And he's doing town meetings that the, uh, many of the questioners are not people off the street or people with a point of view that would elicit some, some well, the, well, discussion, the big, the big but supporters. The was actually right. a supporter that works right. for and, and the last, political And operation. the last question was a union member from, uh, right. from AFSCME who said, what can we do to help you? I'm not saying those aren't appropriate people to participate no, in the discussion. No, but it sounds like a media event. Right. It but doesn't it's, sound it's like a like, play. As, yeah. a, as opposed to, it, it's always been thus. I mean, but what I'm getting at, I think we're talking apples and oranges here. Look, all first right. of all, the press does a great job. Everything we know about the Bush presidency, for instance, we know from the press. We don't know it from the Bush people. And I think the same is true of the Obama presidency. Mostly we know presidency mostly we know about it from the press that's but but that's one side of it all I'm saying is we don't need to be complaining all the time about the rules they set for us our job is to work our way around the rules but are you, are you uh, not troubled that, by I want, to, I want to back up Carl on that he's absolutely right I mean I think at the end of the day you can't sit here every White House wants to control that's, I mean you know it, it's, whether everybody. it's Nixon Kennedy, Reagan, Bush, or Obama, they all want to control. Exactly, it's their job. <laughs> our and it's our different. job to go around it. Right. Right. But it's our job to say when they when they coordinate the questions that are going to be asked, not it's a our problem. job to Take, point that out or not. He's absolutely absolutely yes, taken, but in fact, that. in fact, I think that it's much more effective to go into Gibbs' office, as Gibbs suggested, rather than do what Helen did which is to create this great hubbub that makes us look as if we're petty. Yeah. Look, this is an but, internal but, matter. But Chuck, what, it's, it's not, it's, it's not a matter of matter. national no, no, policy. It's not, it's not an internal matter. He's, he, he's staging these events, and I congratulate him for being so astute, staging these events the way he is. It is, like you said, it is a play. President have Barack stage Obama events. being shocked and going, Mission impossible. A woman, oh, I should <laughs> hug you. <laughs> and she works on so. his political campaign. <laughs> the impression shock that he gives America is, oh, this is just somebody you know, just happened to Put be here. Out there. What a sad story. I'm going to hug you and make you feel better. And everybody, I, I, I think actually uh, Helen Thomas and uh, Chip Reed. Uh, who, by the way, just can't hold a candle to you, Chuck. I think that, that both of them uh, brought this to a level where we're talking about it this morning and a lot more Americans are. Well, and I, I want to disagree with Carl. I do think in the press briefing with Gibbs, it, it is certainly an appropriate place to bring that up. I don't think it's appropriate to bring it up, you know, to the president or something like that. But that is, you know, Robert's job is to interact with us. And I think, That's you fair. know what, put him on the spot because I'll say this. You will get one answer. Put him on the spot in public. Make him defend the decision to coordinate with a questioner in public because, as you know, Carl, you will get one uh, answer to that question when there's no camera. You'll get another when there is a camera. And you know what? It's interesting to see how they react when no, the camera's fair. on. That, that's yeah. well, that's, that's part of that's part of the reason. You, okay. say this, you can say every president has done this. This president says he's going to be different. He's going to be transparent and accountable. It may be he's doing exactly what past presidents have done, but then let's let's determine that. I, well, no, yesterday, yesterday, I'm interested was in different. what Chuck thinks, though, uh, well, from, in terms of whether this president is more open and transparent than where we were a year ago. What I do you think? think? It, what is what you? How would you answer that, Chuck? I think the jury is still out a little bit because we haven't, you know, every time you say, "Hey, where's this? Where's that?" They say, "Well, we're we're doing it. We're coming. We're doing more." Uh, you know, I'd say let's grade him again in three months. Yeah, Chuck Todd.